on three, two, one. What's up fam, it's your boy Demir here, purveyor of all sounds underground. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today where I will be discussing how to deal with people who steal your music and uh, the most effective actions to take as a result of the said plagiarism. But before we jump into things, what I need from you is that SLC. Hit subscribe, like, comment, and more importantly, hit the notifications bell to stay in touch with the new videos that we have up and coming. All right, so let's jump right into things. What to do when someone not only plagiarizes your music, but attempts to put it out or has gone about putting it out and you've since discovered it. This recently happened to me by an Italian producer, as he said, this idiot named Sound Dome. Uh, and if you remember in underground electronic music, uh, I want to say like a year and a half ago, this individual by the name of Flood came awfully close to putting out some fraudulent tracks on Purveyor Underground. Um, but when we asked some questions about where it stems for the project, um, you know, how come you can't find it? We were suspicious and thank God we didn't put the record out. And it came to light, uh, I think uh, it was the owner of Cruz Records, where the, the dude actually submitted the guy's own music to him. <laughs> and it's just unbelievable, the audacity attached to it. But anyway, he got caught, his career got ruined, and he was out of there. So I'm going to share with you five meaty tips as per usual what to do when this happens to you if ever it happens to you i didn't think it would ever happen to me but it did so let's uh jump into it point number one uh is to take immediate action uh when you know uh and you've discovered your music's being stolen or plagiarized and someone's trying to pass it off as their own the first thing i would do is go to their soundcloud an issue an immediate takedown and what that starts is a nice cascading uh, impact to that particular individual because you can't really call them an artist like they're just people stealing your music um, but that starts a nice cascading impact where you can then inform other retailers um, like Spotify Beatport track source and even Bandcamp they have super responsive copyright infringement processes in place and I highly recommend doing this straight away because it disables uh, the uh, particular individual to continue benefiting off of your music. And point number two is to assume that the label that has helped this person put the music out, which is your own music, the fraudulent music, so to speak, uh, assume that they're not aware of the situation. Even as a label owner uh, myself, we get tons of demos, and even though we you know, try to check them, make sure they haven't been previously released, sometimes things slip through the cracks, um, depending on how elaborate uh, the scam is. So just assume that they're not aware. Don't go after the label and try and shame them. Uh, most labels would be just as pissed off as you are when they discover that someone has sort of duped them into putting out music that really isn't theirs. And point number three, kind of attached to point number one in terms of taking action, but it's to just take on the oath that you will bury these people. And this is absolutely necessary because you gotta go after all angles. So once you put in the copyright infringement notice and you get confirmation, from those retailers and SoundCloud that yeah, they've taken it down as a result of your claim. Find out who the distributor is and get to them straight away and say, this artist or this person posing as an artist took my music and did da 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 da. And once you describe all of that, distributors also do not wanna be attached to 
anything or anyone that is plagiarizing music. So they'll normally prioritize it and take uh, pretty swift and immediate action to get not only that particular song down, but the entire catalog. Because once you have one of these situations attached to an individual, it brings into question their entire catalog. Uh, and you just need to be very, very consistent and make sure you're focused in getting the answers you need to get. So definitely go for the labels as well as distributors. And again, assuming that they're not aware, just lay out all the facts and they'll take some swift action on your behalf. And the other thing that's super cool about um, the whole thing of burying these fools is the fact that social media not only allows them to rise up quickly on <laughs> the base of your music, but their downfall is even sweeter. And you can simply achieve this by tagging them in every post that you're going after to shame people. I'm not big on cancel culture, but in these situations where it's obvious you've been impacted, you could easily prove that, hey, this person took this amount of music from me and is trying to pass off like, you know, my music is theirs. It's just uh, an easy win situation for you. So go for it. And point number four, once you've done all of that, now is the time to, you know, of course, through tagging, you'd let them know that you know <laughs> what they've done. And this is brilliant because the person <laughs> that tried to do this to me, when I confronted him about it, he's like, oh man, I'm so sorry, I didn't know, I couldn't do this, blah, 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 and all this other bullshit. And, and then he was like, how can I make it right? And I'm like, bro, I've already taken care of it. You're done, you're finished. Um, there's just no point in trying to have any real negotiation in these situations. So, you know, make sure you let them know that you know and you'll see them either do one of the following or all the above, which is to block you, um, then delete all of their posts because they know they've stolen other people's music and they're afraid to be discovered. And then they'll just disappear as quickly as they show up. Some of these people get so far as to have legitimate gigs, you know, based on other people's artistry. Like this guy, Sound Dome, actually had a gig lined up with Marco Corolla days after taking my music like, and having it scheduled for release, which was incredible. So I just got to Marco's people and let them know what the deal was and, you know, that's that. And point number five is to be absolutely and intentionally ruthless and relentless in the pursuit of killing and crushing this person. You have to continue the fight. And you know what? Quite frankly, uh, it doesn't matter who the name is. Like, I I've seen a lot of comments in my feed about this. Well, we know some big names that have done this and... You know, it's like a double standard. Well, I think the double standard exists partly because people just give up. And this is not a slight on anyone. It's awful to have your music uh, stolen. And whether the name is big or small, to see somebody else benefit from it is complete and utter bullshit. So to me, I say just be relentless and continue to bury these people. Some people will come... Like I had one comment, uh, some dude was like, okay, we heard your point, no, just chill out. No, fuck that, you know? Um, and they actually agreed with me after I told them, listen, man, this just happened. This is not like something that happened five years ago. And that should be irrelevant, you know? Like it isn't your music and the time and blood, sweat and tears that you put into the craft just to have someone steal it and try and benefit from it. So who are you? To show up and say yeah we've heard you just chill out if you don't like what's being said on my page you know the internet is not a democracy just take yourself off the fucking page man or ask for me to block you or easily more easily delete yourself <laughs> like i'm not impressing upon you you know that you have to listen and read all the stuff that's being posted so be relentless in the pursuit because um I think if you're not, we indicate to people that it's okay to do this kind of stuff on a regular basis. 
I had like artists like Low Step reach out to me and say, "Yeah, this kind of shit's happened to him," and it's like Low Step, you know, and it's it's crazy to me that people would have the audacity to do this. But technology allows people to do these types of things and to be anonymous. But when it happens, you can make sure you claim you know your asset being your music and making sure that nobody else but you benefit from it so be relentless in the pursuit and there you have it those are my thoughts on the five key things you should do when you discover someone has stolen and tried to release or has released music that is yours let me know your thoughts on this one i usually join the conversation within 48 hours of posting these videos so i love to hear what's up from you until then much love and respect peace